what is fundamental right now is media because media has the big responsibility of creating awareness. If there's not awareness, then people will not know what, what is really happening. And I think that we as media need to really communicate as clear as possible what's happening. And this is not being done enough. It's not being done by the industry. It's not being done by magazines. It's not even done by us because what when you talk about sustainability, not the meaning has been quite lost. I mean, fashion has that power of giving so much and taking away so much because if we, if you ask now what sustainability means, many people do not even know the answer, do not even what do not even know the meaning behind it because it the meaning is lost. I mean, right now it's just a trendy word that everyone uses, but nobody knows what it means. So I think the awareness is fundamental right now. There are people that work behind, but then there is the front line. And the front line, it doesn't mean to be, you know, just on social networks and saying words into the air, but it's putting into facts. So this is something that me as a person, I committed and I feel responsible, but at the same time, it's, you know, it has to be a community, it has to be a system. And the fashion system has went completely wrong until now and has now the power to change. And this year of uh, pandemic has completely changed the lives of everyone. And there are many people that are not here anymore today, but there are many people that want to see a better future. So I think that, I mean, repeating and repeating communication and clear language is fundamental. And the four of us have been trying to do this and we continue to do this because people do not understand what means buying responsible because they don't know. And this is part of that part of knowledge, knowledge which is lost right now because knowledge about something to have already when you're in school. I mean, the fact of having you know, knowledge of what's being responsible when you are starting from kindergarten, because if you're already studying, what does it mean responsibility? Once you're out from school, you're gonna be an adult which has the consciousness and awareness of making a change. And in the meantime, when you become your 22, 24, 26, and you want to start your own business and you know what responsibility means, it, you're already, in a way of constructing something more real, more truthful, more responsible. So this is, I think, fundamental. And what's happening now in the industry, which nobody's really talking about, but it's just another meaning that they're putting there, is greenwashing. And greenwashing is happening every single day. Me as a person, which I work, I have, well, at least introducing me, I have many hats, but these hats always assemble in the same, and it's in the fashion industry. And greenwashing, I see it, I don't know, every day now that, that I receive like at least two or three emails per week of brands, which I'm not going to say the name. Oh, today we are launching our new sustainable capsule collection. And it doesn't explain what does it mean. But sustainable is their big written because it's the first word that people will think, ah, so I'm going to buy them because it's sustainable, not even knowing what they're buying. So greenwashing is gonna be the main, main problem that's happening already and it's gonna happen in the future. So that's why media is fundamental right now because a communication, a clear communication of the truth of what's behind, it's fundamental. And you who are listening today, who I think it's around, I think there are many people which could be young, not young anymore, but whoever right now decides to start a project, a startup, uh, brand, which as Matteo said, truly enough, we do not need anymore. But if you want to start something and give a message, it has to be responsible. If not, it doesn't have even the slightest mean of existing. Because right now, what I say also when I speak to young people, and I speak to young people a lot, because part of my job is to support the new generation, because the new generation is our future, is you, do, you want to do something new, you have to do something responsible for a better future and think forward. So this is something that, you know, it's a change that cannot happen from one day to another. There are big criticism on big brands, which obviously have done the damage. And unfortunately, we cannot, you know, go back and turn, I mean, we wish to rewind and do everything at best, but this is the situation right now. So what we need to think is from today onwards to think in a better way. And all those brands that 
we know who we are talking about, but there are many more because, I mean, it's always about the same four or five, which I'm not telling names, but high street or whatever. I mean, they're trying to change. There's gonna be that transition, which you're not neither sustainable and you're still doing not things right. But the key is to say to people what you're doing. And the brands are still not doing this because we as a community right now here tonight, we are willing you know, to have the passion or to have the knowledge of you know, understanding what's happening. But let's talk about all the consumers, all the other, I don't know, 5 billion people outside there. I mean, they need to know where, what to buy and what's happening. So that's why big brands have you know, the power to say what's happening. And this is something that I see it's happening, but not enough. And also the transparency is a big word, very important about, about being transparent and also being, being direct. I mean, Matteo and Marina, through the projects have always been very clear and also very clear in the language with, without you know, using complicated or strange because I see it when I go to schools and I say, okay, let's talk about sustainability, which is a word I hate to use. I always say responsibility. And people think it's not fashion, annoying, boring, whatever. You need to find the key and the key is to play it simple and clear because people want to understand. So really knowledge and awareness is our future. And I think that this is something that personally also with the people I work, it's something that we fight for because it has to be very clear. People need really to change their mindset. I mean, really need to think about going into the favorite shop and saying, okay, I'm buying a t-shirt if I really need to buy one, but I have to go and buy a responsible one, which is for sure gonna be more expensive, but it's gonna last. And anyways, you're buying something that has a history forward. You're buying a t-shirt that knows that as, as helping a community in Peru that is growing uh, an economy in a country where they need it. And this is something fundamental. So. Um, I do think that media has a key role in this moment and is still not playing it in the right way. Um, but I was wondering how valuable actually is our purchasing power? And if we think about practical steps we can take today to support you, uh, you know, whether it be like shopping at thrift shops or whether it be um, getting involved in fashion revolution, how can we do that? I think it's, it's also a matter of changing you know, your set mind of not buying so much. I mean, we have a system that has overloaded us of, you know, consumption and, and of, you know, especially fashion about, you know, doing four collection per year, pre-collection, capsule collection. I mean, I think it's really uh, the fact of, about quality and not quantity. And this is something very important about even, uh, you know, less is more, or, you know, it's, it's something that has to really change the mindset of people and uh, this is why in the end you know media is fundamental because it's but it has to be done by the right way because then if there is a misconducting of communication or not giving the right example then the, the damage is double so this is also fundamental of giving the right messages and as marina was saying also you as a consumer it's not just reading because you're reading something positive you think it's right to buy it you also have the mindset, you know, to become, to document yourself and see what, you know, what's behind it and not just the purpose of entering a shop, buying it and not even caring, you know, what's behind. So this is something that people really need to think about a change. And we are a lot. And if each of us, you know, have a small change in their daily routine, it's already a big change. So this is fundamental to think about it as, you know, waking up in the morning and I've changed a lot of my habits I still, I'm sure I still do wrong habits, but I try, you know, to change. And this is fundamental. We've talked about this um, need to have this shift in the fashion paradigm. And we've talked about all these different aspects of the industry and just sort of bringing it all together. What would the perfect industry look like to you? And maybe like, what would be the one, two, like biggest ways to get there? <laughs> Although of course it's incredibly complex. Um, I think legis legislation is fundamental and also traceability because it's also that very important to understand where it comes from. And this is something that has never been clear. And also the fact that in fashion, there's never been laws. There's no law of anything. There's no law on consumption, on anything. And this is 
probably one of, of the only industry where, which you are free to do whatever you want. So it's something very important that also needs to rebalance you know, the economy, which right now is not balanced. And also to the fact to go back to craftsmanship and to what we have you know, at kilometer zero, as we you know, used to say, because we are obviously exploiting you know, our, our planet and the, also the problem you know, the fact of even studying biodiversity and all of that. So I think also traceability is fundamental, but more, impost, more important is about creating laws because, I mean, if not, people will continue to do whatever they want. And what's really the problem now is going back to the greenwashing is that using the word sustainability as if it means it's a kind of, oh, I'm sustainable, so I have an excuse or I have a go green card, you know, to do things, it's gonna be all still overproduction. So now we are gonna have overproduction of sustainable capsule collections. I mean, this is not the direction we want to give. So this is why we need, I mean, all of us, and I'm speaking about myself, like someone in the media that exposes is to support the new generation because the new generation is very sensible to the cause and they really want to make a change. But at the same time to make a change, you have to put rules because if not, people really do what they want. Already with rules, people kind of, you know, try to tackle it down or anything, but the fashion industry do not have, doesn't have a rule on overconsumption, overusing water, over everything. I mean, so it's, instead of using over, we have to go under. So this is very important. <laughs>